Hi there, I'm Barb Owen of HowToGetCreative.com and welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Barb and I would love to have you subscribe and uh, check or click the notifications little bell if you want to know whenever we upload videos, which we do fairly frequently. I'm doing a series of reviews on different products and when you come to my channel, you're never going to know for sure what I'm going to review. Sometimes it's hand cream. <laughs> <laughs> things that help my hands keep from cracking. Sometimes it's paper products. Sometimes it's tools to use with paper and um, any kind of creative arts in that, you know, in that genre. Sometimes it's about fabric. Sometimes sewing. This particular one is one that I never really thought I would get into doing or enjoying, but I'm telling you, I'm having a good time with it. And I'm going to show you where I started what I was interested in. I'm going to show you a couple of different things and I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the better. So I bought one of these. I, this is going to be a slam, slam you back to a few years ago for many of us. To the good old potholder loom. And of course today the potholders, you can pick them up the looms you can pick up at a craft store. This one was a whole five dollars for the loom and a bunch of loops and you know everything including the instructions for this one. It's plastic so it's uh, and it's not it's not a particularly great one. There's a lot of, of um, you know molding issues here where you've got little bits and pieces of the plastic that are could hang up on your fiber and stuff, but it's actually engineered for making pot holders. Now I bought it not so much to do pot holders with, but I bought it in order to weave things for using in my fiber arts. And so that's what you can see that I have going on here. Although it is a pot holder loom. This is the pot holder that actually comes off of the size loom. So just to put it in the corner here, they do shrink up uh, by about two inches. So I think this is about a seven inch loom. Let's see. Yeah, it's about a little over seven inches. And the pot holder that it yields is about five. So it, it loses about two inches both directions. And these are the loops that came with it. And these are cotton. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but this isn't exactly what I wanted to do with it. I really wanted to do things like this. So this one, I mean, it, you get what you pay for. It's a $5 loom and that's what you get, but you can still have a lot of fun with it. Well, I was in a local store recently and in this local store, they had, it's a weave a store that specializes in weaving and fibers and uh, all those kinds of goodness, good things, knitting and fibers and weaving and all that. And they had a loom. See, look at how much bigger this is. See how much bigger? <laughs> this is like the potholder loom all grown up on this size. And here's another one done in a different pattern. All right, so the loom that these are done on looks like this. Okay, it's nice and big. And this is called the Pot Holder Pro. And this comes from the company Harrisville Designs. So that's the company that makes it. It's metal. They do make a smaller one that's also metal. And they sell them in kits and also just the loops, which are the cotton loops. But they're a, a quite a high quality cotton loop. Well, the store where I was and where I purchased this is local to me. And this is, um, the store is called Hill Creek Fibers, I believe, was the name of the store where I was. Um... But anyway, the, they, they have a local store and then they have a mail order. And this is actually from the mail order. You can buy wool loops. 
And as far as I know, this is the only place from Carol Lee's Hill Creek Fiber Studio is the only place you can get the wool loops. And that's what these are made of, is the wool. And I tell you, they there is no comparison to um, how this feels compares to the cotton. And they're all done with natural dyeing, different natural dyeing processes. And so the colors are absolutely stunning. Uh, there, there's nothing, there's nothing like this. Here's the other one, so you can see what it looks like up close. Just, I mean, really beautiful and nice and thick. So anyway, I bought what I bought was a kit that they had. I think that they put together, and their kit had the loom, which is the pro, the bigger one, and it had enough pot holder, enough of the the wool loops in it to make two pot holders. And it had a, um, a locker hooking hook, which is really nice. If you do, like to do locker hooking, this is really a nice weighty hook, by the way. This is, a, this is really super nice addition. You can also buy from them, and I, get, I have no interest in this company. It's um, just, I'm, I really am having fun doing this. You can buy the loops in different colors. And you can buy them also in different um, specific colorations to do the different pot holders like that. So anyway, this was where I bought mine, Carol Lee's Specialties. It was the Hill Creek, and they do have a website. And I'll put all that information in the description box below the video. Now, it came with this instruction sheet which I have to say wasn't um, it wasn't the best instruction sheet that I've ever seen. So I would say this is a bit of a, you know, mm, this was a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, however, they do have a phone number, so you could call them. <laughs> and harrisville.com, which is the manufacturers of this loom, does have a nice website. And they have a lot of information available there. But the only place that you can buy the wool loops, if you like to do to work with wool, is through the um, Carol Lee's studio. Carol Lee's Hill Creek Fiber Studio. And that is the that information is going to be in the description box below the video. Okay. So you can buy the kit two places but if you buy it from Harrisville Designs you're going to get it with cotton loops if you buy it from the um, Hill Creek Fiber Studio you're going to get it with wool so it just depends on what you like I love the wool I, I don't know if I can use anything else now <laughs> so what I've done is I have put this is the color combination from one of the two pot holders that came with the kit this is the other one and they put them all together with a string so that they don't get all messed up, which is a really cool thing to do. And so there is no big tool with this particular setup to weave and pull the, the um, loop back through like this. This came with the, the small inexpensive tool that I got, or loom that I got from Hobby Lobby. It does not come with one of these for this. And at first I was like, well, that is just, you know, really strange, right? Until I realized that it was just as easy to use my fingers. And I, I do this when I'm sitting watching TV. For me, it was just as easy to use my fingers and pull the loops through. Once I got so far, then I just hook it over the peg and then just keep going. So at first I was like, well, how are you supposed to do this without the tool? Because, you know, the other one had a tool. How are you supposed to do this? And I, I started playing with the idea of just using my fingers, you know, because I didn't want to wait and have to order the tool and all that kind of stuff or whatever. Wait till the store was open, the local store, so I could go back in and talk to them and say, you know, what's the deal and, and all of that. 
So I just started playing with it with my um, using my hands. Now, if your hands have any strength issues, then that's going to be a different kind of problem for you because it does take a little bit of hand strength to do this. But I did not find that that was difficult at all to do just with, you know, with my hands. So I start up away from the area that I'm going to end up, you know, putting the loop down against that, the bottom in other words. I start away from that and then, because I find it's easier to get in and out of the loop, um, out of the loom. So I just, I mean, really, you can go pretty quickly and then just pull it, kind of pull the woven part down against the preceding part of the weave. I Can you tell I'm not a weaver? Because I don't have all the lingo. And once I get over to the edge, I just stretch it and put it on the peg and then just simply pull this right down against the other one and then you just keep on going I mean it that's it that's it that's as hard as it gets and then the end you're gonna do the very same thing um, in the end process where you take the loops off the pegs and you pull them one through the other like a chain stitch and sometimes you'll find that some of the loops um, ravel just a little bit and so I just go through just like I just did and periodically just you know snip them off but I usually don't do that till I'm all completely finished that's it that's as hard as it gets so this makes a nice big this particular loom makes a nice big if you want to do pot holders it makes a nice big pot holder um, it's a 10 inch loom it makes a seven and three quarters inch square pot holder and this is the wool and it says in the instruction or in the the information about the wool loops that the wool is fire retardant it won't flame when it's near fire and the wool insulates to protect from heat so you know it's pretty neat how they um, how this works so anyway I found it I love the color selection I bought more colors of the loops because you know if you have some colors of loops you want to have all the colors of loops and this is by far not all of the colors but um, you know so I bought extra loops to have I'm gonna go back and get some in the off-white they're not a, a hundred percent you know super super you know pure white they're kind of an, an ivory color and then if you want to you can dye your own see that these are the colors are absolutely I think they're absolutely stunning there's no comparison between this and this no comparison look can you see yeah no comparison so if um, yeah, if you're interested in getting into doing some weaving, simple weaving, whether it's pot holders or, you know, to use, I'm, I'm going to use the same loom to do some other weaving things for the fiber things that I do. Or you can, you know, use even the little inexpensive plastic one to weave fibers together to use in projects. Hey, it's a great, it's a great, I think it's a great investment. And when it's metal, I found no problems with it trying to bend or anything. It's very sturdy. I was impressed with it. So anyway, I give it two thumbs up. I really like it. So um, you'll find all the information in the description box below the video. Now, um, in case you're not familiar with what we do, we have howtogetcreative.com, which is a website that has just a ton and a half and growing of creative arts videos of all different kinds we invite you to come over and check us out we are a membership website you can try us out for as little as a dollar for a whole month 
and we have all different levels of membership and we'd love to have you come over there and check us out. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Barb Owen, howtogetcreative.com. Hope you have a creative day. Hey, remember to get creative today because you know it's easy and I'll see you again soon.